right, today on the channel, we're gonna be taking a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classic Collection Sewer Sports 4-Pack. Blah, that's a mouthful. But anyways, this is the latest reissued set of figures from Playmate Toys. Basically, old Ninja Turtles figures from the classic Playmates line reissued slash retooled slightly um, for today's audience. This is being sold through Target online. Right now, retail prices, $49.99, you get four figures, comes in this classic little van packaging, which they've been utilizing for a lot of their reissues. Got Touchdown Leo there in the back seat. Raph with the soccer ball coming out the side window. Donatello's driving the bus there. Sewer Sports All-Stars branding. And of course, we got skateboarding Mikey hanging on to the side of the van. The bottom, you get a little classic collection Sewer Sports turtle overview. Let's go ahead and get these out of the package and see what they look like. They do come carded, which is nice. The cards are reminiscent of the original card backs, but there is subtle changes between them as to not be 100% accurate to the originals. You know. Out of the van, we have Shell Kicking Raph, Skateboarding Mikey, Touchdown Tossin' Leo, and everyone's probably favorite of the bunch, Slam Dunkin' Don. Now this one in particular is probably the most sought after um, growing up because of the Jordan-esque jersey apparel that Don's wearing. But overall, they're good looking figures. Like I said, the, the card backs themselves, not 100% accurate. So the original card back would have like, so for Touchdown Tossin' Leo, it would have nothing but footballs around the sides. There was also some different cards um, that had checkerboards on them and these are all been reissued and released several times uh, in the past. So in 99, like 2006, and I mean, we get these reissues every so often, but if you've missed out and you're looking to add to your classic collection, then this is probably a good bet, a good opportunity for you. They all come with their classic accessories. Everything is accurate in that aspect. And it should be noted that skateboarding Mikey, well, this wasn't ever actually part of the sewer sports all-stars to begin with. Um, originally it was like shell slamming Mikey and he was a wrestler. Uh, for whatever reason, they just chose to omit that one and replace it with uh, Skateboarding Mikey, which was a different release altogether. But it does come with the skateboards, the roll blade accessories. Um, there was other Sewer Sports All-Stars figures. We had a, a baseball, you know, Raphael, and we had a Leonardo slapstick hockey one. Uh, I would have preferred one of those, but I get it. You know, they wanted each unique turtle in the bunch. So instead of Wrestler Mikey, we get Skateboarding Mikey. Most of the accessories aren't painted, which is again, faithful to the original. On the back side of the cards, that's where things really start getting different, uh, mainly the top half. So for something like Shell Kick and Raph here, the old card backs would have like a soccer field right up here. Unfortunately, we just got this overview picture of all four figures. We got the equipment checklist. We got our little cross sell there, but these aren't sold individually. So that's kind of a moot point. And then of course you've got your little clip and collect character bio right there. And then your classic legal jargon on the bottom. So let's go ahead and get these guys off the card back and inspect them up close and personal, shall we? Hey there sports dudes. In baseball tonight, Grand Slam and Rath Slam to hit. Unfortunately, the ball didn't go anywhere because it was attached to a pole. In football, TD Toss and Leo's making sure the foot aren't having a ball. In basketball, Slam Dunk and Don's becoming a real basket case. And in wrestling, we find Shell Slam and Mike pinned by his python. More Sewer Sports All-Stars coming up, but now a word from our sponsor. All right, first up we have Slam Dunk and Don, and overall, gotta say, does, does look just like the original figure, at least the best I can recall. Got the 23 on the shorts there, as well as the D for Duncan Don. Uh, got the bright red soles on the shoes and the heels. Kind of reminds me of the Jordan 11s if it would follow all the way through. But either way, clearly, you know, Jordan was the king, especially when these turtles were in their prime. So number 23 is very fitting. There was also a white jersey variation of this figure uh, that was released back in the day. But as you can see, he's got the green around uh, his purple bandana. So he's got the little safety goggles on there and he's got this peg here on his right hand and that is meant to hold the basketball, which is very brain-esque. Uh, it's the turtle ball officially. It's supposed to look like a turtle shell, but it looks more like a, a brain. Line that peg hole up there, put the ball on there. And you don't wanna like cram it on there because then it's gonna be forced onto his hand permanently. So like, if you're posing your figure and putting him on a shelf, shove it all the way on there. But if you actually want him to do the, the basketball shot, you're gonna have to kind of put it on there loosely. And you can do this by pulling back on his left hand and then letting it go. 
and it throws the ball. He also comes with this garbage can, trash can rim. It's got a little slide here, so you can put it on top of, or on the side of something, just to adhere it to whatever you want. Uh, I would be amazed if you were able to make any baskets in this thing, because number one, uh, the diameter of this trash can basketball goal is very close to the diameter of the turtle shell ball, so you would almost have to be dead on with your shots. And number two, uh, just the way the mechanism is working, at least on this figure, he's not getting very much arch on any of his shots. He's uh, throwing it pretty pretty straight, so your, your rim would have to be almost eye level with the Duncan Don here to make any sort of baskets whatsoever. Turtles 23 on the back there as well of the jersey, but that is Duncan Don in a nutshell. Next up, we have Touchdown Tossin' Leo, the number one on his jersey, which is almost all completely missing. And you get the little cut there showing the, the football pads shining through the jersey, but very 90s, early 90s, where most football players' jerseys were almost mid-riff. Got the hip pads shining through there as well. We'll get to see the sculpt details of the thigh pads. Turtle shell knee pads and elbows. He's got his high, high up calf socks. He's got cleats on. And just like Duncan Don, he also has a peg because he comes with various accessories as well. In fact, he comes with two footballs. He comes with just a basic bare bones football. You can put it on there. Again, if you want him to throw it, don't shove it on there as hard as you possibly can because then it'll never let go. And he also has the long bomb football as notated by the script on the side of the ball there. You can also throw it on there. Reminds me of a Nerf ball with the, you know, the ridges there, the, the tail feathers, so to speak. So that's the long bomb. And he also comes with a pizza slice kicking stand, which you can bounce either football on there. If you wanted to, there you go. And of course he wouldn't be a football player without his football helmet. It's got a T there on the side for turtles, of course, both sides, red face mask, yellow helmet itself, fits right over the top of his head and looks good. Let's go ahead and see how well his throwing arm is. Get him to actually let go of the ball. And we'll pull it back and there he goes. He throws it. Let's see if we can get him to throw the Nerf ball. Nope, too hard. There we go, like a rocket. There's TD tossing Leo. And next up, we've got Shell kicking Raphael. Soccer jersey. Comes with various accessories. So he's got a, a soccer net that you can lay down like that. Or if you're feeling extra challenged, you can lay it down like that. But tall wise, he also comes with two soccer balls. One that looks like a standard soccer ball. And the other one is meant to look like a foot soldier that has been just barreled up. So there's the foot soldier face. Getting Raph to stand on his own is going to be very difficult. Like I said, the turtles are always been difficult with the way their heels are bent back there. But this one in particular, just because his right leg is kind of the mechanism in this figure. So you're going to pull it back as far as you can. And then you're going to push this button on his back. And that's going to be... Your mechanism to kick the ball. So let's go ahead and see if we can test it out. And voila, goal! Number two on his chest, Raphael in the back. Everything else though is pretty standard. This one is pretty accurate to the original release. Like I said, the only real differences on this one are the card backs. Those are the big changes, but for the most part, the figures themselves are very accurate. And then last but not least, We've got Skateboard Mikey. Like I said, again, Skateboarding Mikey was not part of the original All-Stars. Uh, we had the Shell Slam and Wrestling version, but we've got the Skateboarding Mikey. He's got his tank top there, ripped up, shell shining through. He's got his uh, red turtle brief biker shorts on. He's got uh, purple, purple colored wrist guards, orange knee pads and elbows, of course. He's got, you know, a boo-boo on his... On his nose there, his snout, he is wearing a turtle shell helmet, safety first, and he's got his bright orange glasses as well. Comes with the turtle skateboard. The wheels do come off, pop them off there. It doubles as a dumbbell, so Mikey can go to the beach and do bicep curls and that kind of thing. And of course, to attach Mikey to the skateboard, you're just gonna put the peg holes, line them up, 
and voila, he's on the skateboard. Or you can remove the skateboard and attach the rollerblade accessories that he comes with as well because it's the 90s. Everybody was rollerblading in the 90s. Then voila, you've got rollerblading Mikey as opposed to skateboarding Mikey. So that is skateboarding Mikey in a nutshell. At the end of the day, for $49.99, I've got no complaints. The figures themselves all look great. This is a no-brainer for Turtle fans, in my opinion, specifically those that are looking to round out their collection, whether it be OG Turtle collectors or those of you that have slightly added to your collection over the years with these retro reissues. The changes they made to the card backs, it's completely understandable, in my opinion, just because, like I said, they're trying to avoid 100% duplication of the originals. That way, people aren't trying to scalp these new figures as old figures on eBay for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. But for the most part, I'm very happy. I do wish we would have got Shell Slam and Mikey instead, but I'm still happy with Skateboarding Mikey. I'll put a product link down in the video description box below in case you want to pick one of these sets up yourself. And that does it for this video review. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. It really means a lot.